Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial. And in this session, we will look into how to add focus menu to any widgets in our Flutter app. So basically, what we have here is a simple example of the same. We have a list of images in the grid-like format. And upon clicking any of this widget, we see few menu items being popping up. And this is what we call the focus menu. And this is made possible with the help of the package known as focus menu available in pub.dev. And the focus menu, what you see here, can actually adapt based upon the available screen size. Here the focus menu appears in the bottom of the widget whereas if you click this widget it appears on the top meaning that it actually determines the available space and renders accordingly. In addition to that these menu items can be configured based upon the on-press event. It can be either an alert dialog or it can be a navigation to some other page or so on and so forth. So this is all about the focus menu what we are about to discuss in this video. Therefore without any further delay let's start implementing this focus menu in your flutter app. Alright, let's first start by creating a Flutter project. Now let's provide the name for our Flutter project which is Focus Menu. Now we have created the Flutter project. Let's get rid of these commands. Now we have the very basic Flutter example app with the my home page that contains the empty scaffold. Now let's start with the coding part. First let's start by adding the package in the bus pack and the package is going to be the focus menu. And always check for the latest version. After adding this package let's start with the main.dot file. Here in the main.dot file we have the home pointing to my home page. Here inside the scaffold let's start by creating the app bar. Followed by the app bar let's define the body that is going to take the builder. And inside the builder, we will be making use of the grid view. The grid view is going to take a list of children. And before that, let's define the cross axis count as 2, which means that we need to place only two flutter widgets in the horizontal manner. Followed by which, let's define the padding and few spacing on the main axis and the cross axis. And inside the children, let's make use of the build list item method that we will be defining shortly, which takes the context and the image index. Basically, we try to have few set of children widgets here inside the grid view. Followed by which, now let's try to define this build list item method. This build list item method is going to make use of the focus menu holder that we get as a result of the package installation. Inside the focus menu item, let's define the width of the menu that is going to take the 50% of the screen width. Followed by which, we will be making use of the boolean variable open with tab. Followed by which, we need to define the menu items that is going to take a list of focused menu items. Let's define one by one. And we can provide the tiling icon as well as the on press. Even. Here, let's leave the on press as empty. You can also set the background color based upon the use case of your application. The next focus menu item is going to be share, and we have the respective icon being defined here. Followed by which, we have another focus menu item list which is going to be favorite, and the final focus menu item is going to be delete, where we specify the text color and the tiling icon color as red. Also, if you need, you can set the background color as red for this focus menu item, which is completely customizable. After defining the menu item list, let's provide the on press event. This on press event is going to be event upon that particular widget. So for now, let's leave that empty. And this focus menu holder is going to take the child that can be any flutter widget of your choice. In this case, it is going to be the image widget. And the image is going to be with a network image. And we try to pass the image file here. The image file is actually something which we have defined inside the declarations folder. And here we have the list of image links that we will be iterating one after the other. So let's try running it. If we click this, we see the focus menu getting triggered. Like I said earlier, if you want to apply the background color, you can also do so. Now we can change the text color and the icon color as white. And this time if you see that this focus menu item alone gets the background color. So this focus menu item can be applied to any widgets in your Flutter applications and make your app even more interactive for the users. Well that's it guys, hope you found this tutorial useful. If you do so, consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video.